Yo, two minutes your boy Caleb Harris. I'm back in the building, and it's probably my only video I want to post today because I got other things to do. And the game starts today, and I'll be re actually it will probably won't. I'll react to the game afterwards, the NBA Finals. But this is the video about the Lakers. This is about the head coaching stuff that's going on for Lakers, and they were saying JJ Redick, and I was like, why JJ Redick? I mean, just because LeBron and JJ are on a podcast doesn't mean they should be, you know. Having him as a head coach, and he's younger than LeBron. Nothing wrong with that, but still, he's just really. Now I don't really see him as a coaching stuff, but and then I saw this, bro. The UConn head coach that got two national championships in a row for college is had to have a spot for the Lakers, bro. This is big. So let's see what ESPN got to say and go from there, eh? Down to the show, and then this. Whoa! Seriously, WTF out of nowhere. This man Woj, this guy, but he, this guy is probably one is the goat at freaking reporting. Uh, this man stays in ears and all. He he stays in everything, bro. Media knows when per, a person puts a pin down and signs something. This guy is different. Uh, Look at this, bro. Have been in pursuit of Dan Hurley since their job opened. This has been their number one candidate, and there are traction man. in these conversations. Uh, they have had. Contact. They're going to talk much more in the coming days, but the Lakers are preparing a massive long-term offer for Dan Hurley. They want him to be a program builder. They, they they say that for every coach, bro. This is a great coach and everything. But they say that for every coach, man. And if he doesn't succeed, they're going to fire him, bro, because that's how the Lakers are, bro. But, but let me stop pause the video. Life, that they want a coach who can span not just this – LeBron James, Anthony Davis era, but beyond it. LeBron and about to go on his freaking consider him to 20, be bro. The best coach available in the market. Dan Hurley has yes. never made any secret of his ambition to someday coach yeah. in the NBA. He is not afraid of challenges. The Lakers are the mountaintop in terms of scrutiny, stature, all the things that come with that job. Dan Hurley is listening, and he is listening closely right now. Back to back national championships. He has the opportunity <laughs> looking something like that. no one's done since John Wooden, and that's when three in a row. But he, he has now uh, a point in time where he's got to make a really hard decision mm. about making that jump to the NBA. Is this the time for him? Mm. And the Lakers are relentless right now in trying to close this deal. I was getting ready to ask you that was my follow up question. What's taking it so long? And if he's been their number one target all of these weeks, they've obviously targeted him. They want him. They've made that very, very clear. What has taken it so long for them to reach a decision or to reach a conclusion on this matter? These talks now, I think Dan Hurley had to get his arms around the idea of the NBA, of moving across the country, sure. of a group that he is very fond of. Alex Caravan just decided to come back. For his junior year. Oh, that's gonna be tough, bro. This guy here is, you know, the UConn coach. Went back to back, could be a third time. And you got these. He loves. He loves UConn, bro. You see how he coaches there. How he just, you know, it feels very comfortable there. I mean, how many coaches that were pretty decent or you know successful in the college that moved up to NFL or to basketball or to yeah, the NBA and then they succeed, right? And so many coaches did that. That's why it's a hard decision. Someone saying if you're so good in college, you can do the same thing in NBA. No, he can't. I mean, I don't know. It's it's like that though, because a lot of coaches get messed up. So that's why he's taking so long to you know decide. Because he's like, I don't know. To be honest, if I was him, to be honest, I don't care if there's so much m more money. I want to be in a place where I'm happy and everything. To Lakers, you could be happy for a second, and the next year, you know, it's, it's preying on you down for like Darvin Ham. He was doing pretty good that first year, and then second year, uh, and they just cut him off, bro. I don't want this dude to do that. Um, to be honest, I think he's gonna stay with UConn, and Lakers have to pick someone else up. But that's a hard decision, bro. It's all about the money, really. But he's got a top five preseason team. Gotta do what you want to do. Not an easy decision, but. The Lakers have been in pursuit, and now Dan Hurley has essentially said, let's talk further about this. Let's get into this. The offer is going to be significant. Mm -hmm. It is going to be long-term. It is going to speak to... Oh, yeah, better be long-term. ...in this job, and what Rob Palenka, what oh, gosh, Gene Buss that, are okay. selling Hurley on is, we want you to put in place everything you've done, mm -hmm. player development, you know, some really innovative X's and O's stuff. But really, Dan Hurley's ability to connect 
That's a lot of pressure, bro. He's a phenomenal coach. He's amazing. Yeah. He, well, yeah. Let me ask you this question. Well, last question before I let Wendy and obviously Andrea get in on this. What, if any, reservations are there on Dan Hurley's side about the late? I know, obviously, leaving this program, UConn that you've built over the last six years, back-to-back -back national titles, the players that have committed, the players that are there, whatever. That's one thing. But when he looks at the Lakers, if any, if there are any reservations that exist, what do you believe they are in his mind, based off of what you're hearing through the reporting stuff? Well, I think it's important for him to get to know the Laker people. Rob Palenka, Jeannie Buss, he's going to have that opportunity here in the coming days to get to know them better, to see how this vision aligns. Um, this has to be a partnership. Anyone for sure, it can't it can't be no two year two year thing or just a one year bro. If you're gonna give this guy, he wants a long run. You saying you can't just fire me after one bad season, bro? That's because that's what the Lakers have been doing, bro. They have these good coaches and they get fired like one or two. I know they might not be the best coaches, but you you don't even see what they got, bro. That one of them. Freaking uh, Frank Vogel first season they went to the freaking finals they won the second season uh, they uh, lost in the playoffs third season he just got fired like bro what the freak LeBron wasn't healthy or AD wasn't healthy then well Darvin him first year they saw off Bumpy and then they finished the year off going to the West Conference get sweep by Denver Nuggets second year they go to the playoffs again lose the same team. Whose fault is that? Not Darvin Ham's fault, bro. So just stop it, bro. They just keep blaming these coaches, and that's why this guy's getting a long-term extension. Cause you can't fire this guy for freaking, you know, having had the best season. You want it, bro? Like you? Do you even know basketball? Rob Palinka, like and Jenny Bust. I don't care who your daddy was. I don't care. He was the richest dude alive. Like, bro, you. It's like these people think they know basketball, but they don't. There's people in the high high standings, but they don't know anything, bro. So. This guy got a hard decision to make, bro. Let me uh, watch a little bit more, and then uh, that'll be it. As a college coach, you're the you're the owner, you're the GM, you're the coach. They've got to be able to see players in a style of play, and I think what Rob Palenka is telling Danny Hurley is he's going to give him a lot of latitude to bring in the players that he sees fit fit for him. But the idea of his development system with the young players they already have in LA, with the ones they're going to draft including, you know, they have the 55th overall pick, LeBron James, Bronny James. We know how much he has wanted to play with his son. Part of the reason you weren't sure about the Lakers before, and Rich Paul will even talk about this, they weren't necessarily a developmental program. No. That changes the day Danny Hurley walks in the door. And so all of those factors, it's the mountaintop, and that's what appeals to Dan Hurley. Yeah. He knows all that comes with this job, and – the NBA has always been a goal of him, a goal of his, and the Lakers are putting in front of hey. him an offer that is going to be very difficult to say no to. If that was if that, if that was his plan to get to, to do this college stuff six years in UConn and then his final goal goes to NBA, that's it. I mean, that's what he wants to do. Go ahead, just just be prepared for anything, bro. That's what I'm saying, because. These people in the NBA, bro, they shake your hand for a second. Behind their back, they doing this because they're like, if you mess up, I'm going to kill you, bro. Because NBA is something else, bro. It's, about, it's a loving game, but it's a lot about business and money and people just stabbing people in the back. And that's how bad, bad blood starts. And I'm mad time of seeing this happen and something goes wrong. I just want the best for this coach because he's a great coach, bro. I didn't really know who he was a couple years ago. But then when I seen him start you know, winning games and you know, on UConn and everything, I was like, this dude was tough, bro. He's pretty tough. So, I mean, I was like, yeah, I want him to succeed and everything. And then I saw this Lakers thing this morning. I woke up and everything, went out to eat my family. And I seen this. I was like, bro. Okay, bro. So, are they doing this? Are they pressuring this guy? And he just answered, I mean, I'm not pressuring him. But, I mean, it's, it's, it is kind of pressuring. But I just want him to do the best Um. He wants to do for a family because it's just not about him. It's about his family, too, moving to L.A. And, um, you know, trying to, you know, be, you know, a developmental team. The Lakers are just a team that their offense and everything, however they're running offense, you know, sometimes they're trying to force it through AD and then the defense knows what they're doing. 
I don't understand that. That's one thing about Darvin Ham. He did some stuff I didn't understand. Uh, Frank Vogel had his flaws too. I just hope he has that fellow mental, you know, defense first and everything, and defense opening up offense. You know, he he's not a coach that just wins two national titles just for a reason, bro. He is a great coach. And UConn, that they don't have like all those type of guys. Yeah, they have guys that went to the draft. They got drafted, but they don't have the, the, the that those like like a Duke big time team. They go, oh, they're a great organization that knows how to play together chemistry wise. This coach, bro, this coach loves the game, loves his players. You know what I'm saying? He's the type of dude that you know get on someone's head, but still be like, I still love you, bro, and I wanna you know have fun. So that's what he is. Um, you know what I'm saying? You know LeBron's behind this. You know LeBron can't be in a quarter while everybody was talking for him. LeBron's definitely behind this, but we're gonna see who's gonna happen, bro. This is exciting for the Lakers. Um, because I JJ Reddick, to be honest, was not that guy to coach, bro. JJ Reddick, people, I don't know where that came from, bro. Because just because he's with LeBron on a pack podcast doesn't mean he's gonna coach the Lakers, bro. Like. I don't understand it. Just stay broadcasting, bro. You already make a whole bunch of money. Just, what are you doing, bro? Just leave it alone. But this looks good. But whatever he wants, do it confidently. Because if he does this, then let me shake your hand. But I don't know. It's not going to go well. But uh, that is it for this video. I had to address this and see this because, man, this is a big news for the Lakers. It's like every season, Lakers have some big news like this. You know what I'm saying? But uh, it's going to be some other big news once uh, the Lakers, if the Lakers draft Bron Bronny James. That's going to be big news. And you can't say LeBron wasn't behind that because, you know, LeBron said he wants Brian to be independent. But, you know, <laughs> you know, Bron LeBron's behind Bronny, you know, is trying to see what he's going to do. But, yeah, that's it for this video. If you're new to this channel, I'm Caleb Harris is NSH Network. I react to news like this, NBA games, NFL highlights, all types of sports stuff. You know what I'm saying? The grind is not stopped for me. I post on YouTube shorts, TikTok, and Instagram with my edits. Go check that out. And then until next time, stay blessed, stay humble, stay safe, stay aware. It's your boy Caleb Harris, NSH Network. And I'm out of the building.